She is 94 years old, but she is still mentally and physically active, running a medical center for men and women who are far younger than her. This year, her will recognize the contributions and achievements of Dr. Wu Chu Sing with a Woman of the Year Special Award. This is only the second time since the award started in 1991 that a special award has been given out. Dr. Un founded the Apex Harmony Lodge in Pasiris in 1999. It caters to elderly with dementia and has 210 patients. Dr. Un serves as chairman of its management committee and still goes to the centre every other day to see to its smooth running. We asked the feisty nonagenarian why she continues working when others her age have retired. When I first started the home, I went round looking at people like them, dementia people in Australia. So when going round, I, you, you acquire, I, I don't know, I really felt sorry for them because we do what we like and say what we like, but these people can't do it. So because I suppose I felt sorry for them, I thought I should help them. And that's how I agreed to building a home for dementia. While she has a staff to take care of the patients, Dr. Un chooses to be actively involved in the management of the home. I go there most days because I also want to have an idea that the people are running the home properly. I cannot leave the home in the hands of people who really don't know. They will make effort to do what I tell them, but is I go there because I it makes me happy. La. Look at it. I wouldn't go there. It makes me unhappy. It's not just her work that keeps her mentally sharp. Dr. Un also has a passion for mahjong. I play mahjong twice a week. It's just as well I'm doing this work. Otherwise, I may play, be playing too much mahjong. <laughs> I encourage them to play mahjong because it makes them think. I assume nobody likes to lose. Okay. So they have to think in order not to lose. While the award for Dr. Un shows that age is no barrier to continuing success, her world also gives out the Young Woman Achiever Award to distinguish women below 35. This year's recipient is 34-year-old Dr. Marissa Teo, known for her work in cancer research. In March 2010, Dr. Teo became the first Singaporean to win a prestigious international UNESCO laurel for Women in Science International Fellowship for her research in nose cancer. While many women would look up to Dr. Teo, the bachelorette was unequivocal about her own role model. Definitely my mother. Uh, my mother is an independent woman and uh, she has a very strong personality uh, and uh, she's definitely one person that I look up to. She's very hardworking and uh, also uh, probably outspokenness. Uh, to a certain extent, I think I've gotten that from her. Dr. Teo's research involves finding an alternative standard treatment for patients with advanced nose cancer. Uh, right now, uh, as far as I know, there is no standard uh, treatment of care for this cohort of patients. And uh, usually whatever that's available, which is usually chemotherapy, has a lot of uh, side effects and it actually uh, can be quite debilitating. Watch the previous clip for the winner of Her World Woman of the Year, Dr. Chong Kun Hien, who was the key person behind the success of Marina Bay District.